Hello, hi, um, welcome to this video, welcome to this channel. My name is Carissa, I'm a big makeup lover, and I just started this so I could find other people who love makeup. I look like a butthole right now because I want to... Okay, so I got Boxy Lux, and I got this palette in it, the Hello Charmers palette, and I got it and I was severely disappointed. And... I used this color in a look yesterday, and then I swatched some of these. And this is a pressed glitter right there, so the shades swipe up, and it just isn't good. Like, it doesn't feel like a, like a ColourPop pressed glitter, or like the the pure one that they did, or like any, like the Tati one. It's very stiff. So I figured I would just make a look with this palette. I think I'm just going to do two looks, one on each eye. Um... And yeah, so I figured I would just film it and kind of see how it goes, see if I like the palette. I'm not going to be talking, I'm just going to be showing you what I'm doing. It will be sped up, and then I guess I'll say if I like the palette in the end or not. So let's just stop talking and just do it. Thank you for watching.
finish up the bottom and then I'll come back with my thoughts on this palette. So I'll see you in a second. So here it is up close. I have glitter in my eye. I feel like how this one turned out more. Um, so what I just did was I used the <coughs> this is the LA Girl Shockwave. This is a Neo Armor Blender. I used it in this one and this is in the shade Outrage. And then I used the LA Girl Shockwave. This is the eyeliner in Gotcha on this one. And then I took spoiler underneath that one and then I took Charmer underneath this one, and I put Boxy on both the inner corners. So here's the palette. I used every color but Luxie and Sneak Peek, so the two golds. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think you can get like a cohesive, I guess you could, but I don't think you can get co like very well cohesive looks with this palette. I think it's kind of boring basically um this blue shade applied like shit with a brush um like as you can see if you try to pick anything up it looks like that if you try to swatch it like what the hell is that it just looks like scattered glitter but with a finger you can definitely tell that there's like a base to it um, and also this left glitter all over underneath. Charmer, too, had the same thing. So that definitely looks like it has more of a base, but it still, again, looks like compared to... So yeah, the glitters... The colorful ones aren't great. I know I can't speak for all of them. I'm confused by this stark white shade. I don't really know who that would work for and like what it would work for. I don't know. I just find that to be a weird shade. It's really just neutrals with two pops of colors. Otherwise, you have this palette. This glitter is okay. It's definitely dry and it doesn't come up. Like normal glitters, I like using these types of brushes. They're just silicone. I got a pack on Amazon. I got like a five pack, I believe, on Amazon. <sighs> Would I recommend this palette? I mean, if you have boxy luck, you're probably gonna get it. Actually, if you probably have box, if you have boxy charm, you're probably just gonna get this palette in general, which is kind of annoying. I've just really been disappointed with boxy charm recently. I didn't like this one, this box, and I didn't like um, last month's box either, which is basically just like. A bunch of makeup removing things which was weird like makeup wipes which I really try to limit <sighs> yeah I don't I'm not really a fan of BoxyCharm putting their own products in like boxes especially like a boxy Lux, and they're like this is $40 no I would not pay $40 for this <sighs> you can get better quality with ColourPop for cheaper and that's that if you get it I think you can make a pretty look with it I can't talk about how they wear, but I mean, they applied pretty fine, they blended pretty easily, but I definitely think that, like, you don't need this. Um, maybe if you, like, if you want to experiment with the pressed glitter, but I feel like most palettes now have pressed glitters, and you've definitely gotten palettes with pressed glitters in BoxyCharm before, and they were better. So, yeah, that's my review on this. It's cruelty free and it's cruelty free and it's a 12 month lifespan so I definitely I almost dropped it I definitely think that uh, I just got I all over my shirt <laughs> but I definitely think that you can make it look with this but I just I don't think I'll be reaching for this palette and I definitely think that um, I would need uh, another palette because I don't really care. Like, I'll use glitters or shimmers in the um, crease. But I just do not like shimmers that are that glittery that just leaves glitter all over my face. You know? Um, so, yeah. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe. You can do whatever you want. If you don't want to, I completely understand. But 
and do whatever you want but like also do you want me to cry so uh, thank you for watching and I will see you possibly next time good bye